All right, going to show a good driving video uh, of this uh, of my truck. It's a 1987 Toyota 4x4 SR5 pickup. So this is a um, cold start. Uh, I probably ran it three hours ago for a few minutes to pull it in the garage. Um, but uh, it's like 90 degrees out too, so it's really hot today. Uh, maybe 95. Um, but uh, yeah, it always fires right up. Um, all the maintenance is done. Um, this truck needs nothing. It's just ready to drive. It looks really nice. It's our original red truck. Um, the uh, bed has been repainted once, um, and it did not have the stripes on the rear, on the bed or the tailgate. Um, and the front, uh, the hood and the door stripes were in really bad shape. Um, uh, part of them were already scratched up and the paint was kind of messed up uh, on the hood a little bit. We'll show that in more detail later. Um, so I went ahead and put a new stripe kit on it, a vinyl stripes that are black and white. Um, it looks really nice. They're definitely not original. Um, I'm also no expert at doing that, so they're not perfect, but they look really nice and um, you know, it's, it's a really pretty uh, truck uh, for a daily driver. Um, certainly not restored, just original, well-maintained truck. 152,000 miles on it right now. Um, Four-wheel drive works great. Um, uh, good brakes, clutch. Uh, clutch was done recently. All the maintenance was done recently in the last 20,000 miles or so, all the major stuff. Clutch and uh, um, previous owner had said the timing chain guides uh, and chain were done. Um, I don't have paperwork for that, but as well as it runs, there's no noise or anything with the mileage, I believe that. Um, yeah, and I, I think I said, but the air conditioning works perfect. Um, it's been my daily driver for a little bit. Um, nice, clean, original interior. I do have, uh, it's not here yet, but I've already ordered a new shifter boot um, just because the old one's kind of ratty, but it's the original and it's it's not horrible, but I've got a new leather one coming that'll look nice. Um, headliners look perfect. Um, seats are still really nice. There's no tears. A uh, few little stains on them, but, you know, Considering its age, um, it's pretty impressive the condition it's in. So, anyways, we'll uh, take it for a drive. Pull out of my garage here, and then I'm gonna need to readjust my mirrors. I've got them tucked in to get in and out of my garage. Next to my Camaro, there's not a whole lot of room. So, yeah, this has been an awesome truck um, I bought it okay I bought it to be a daily driver I've got a Dodge Ram uh, lease that's ending and I had bought this to take over driving um, duties uh, when I turn in the Dodge soon but I recently picked up uh, this 81 Camaro Z28 with T-tops. It was kind of a, a car I've been looking for for a long time. Um, so I'm going to keep that. And um, my uh, kid has ended up uh, coming early here like a month. So unfortunately, i got to get rid of one of these cars. I was hoping I would hang on to this till March when the... Uh, when the lease was up on the Dodge, but at this point I got too much, uh, too many vehicles, and I can't keep them all. And uh, I like the Camaro as something uh, longer term I want to keep because I still have a Dodge for another six months. So, anyways, unfortunately I'm going to sell this thing. Um, I was not planning on it. I'm kind of bummed, but uh, it's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways. Um, so we're going to head out of my neighborhood, we'll get up to speed, go through the four-wheel drive. Um, but like I said, I mean, everything's just really nice. Like, clutch is great, brakes are great, air conditioning is ice cold. Um, doesn't need any maintenance right now, all the oil's done and fluids and stuff. So it's like, I would buy it and drive it anywhere. Um, uh, it's got a, a new spare. Um, hanging under the bed. Uh, it's got an aftermarket rear bumper. I'm not sure what brand it is. Um, and you'll see, we'll take some pictures of it and show you from the back. It's, the rear bumper is like tweaked up a little bit on one side. 
you'll see it's not perfectly straight. I don't think it's ever been hit. There's nothing that makes it look like uh, that thing's ever been bumped before, but I don't know, maybe the previous bumper was and the brackets are a little tweaked or something, and that's why that one was installed. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we'll show you the body. It's really straight. There's no rust on this truck anywhere. Um, there is like a few little dings um, on the bed sides and the fender, and I'll show you that. Nothing bad at all, just like maybe parking lot dents, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. There's a, a crack in the plastic, uh, front plastic um, kind of surround for the front bumper. And I'm trying to think what else. A little ding, like a little crack in the windshield. There's some scraping on the windshield from the um, uh, old wiper blades. So they were really crusty and they were scraping and scratching the windshield. So I already replaced those because I didn't want it to get worse. Um, it, uh, I just ran it through emissions here in Colorado. I'm in Fort Collins. Um, and we have fairly strict emissions. Um, this thing passed perfectly by a huge margin has all the original emissions equipment, a newer exhaust system on it, um, it still has its cab, um, and uh, yeah, so no problem titling it anywhere, or putting it through emissions anywhere. Um, you'll see that there is a crack on the dash, I was going to put a new dash pad on it, but uh, it's already plenty nice, I guess, you know, for a driver, I'm not going to fix that. Uh, the weather stripping's good, on the doors and all. Doesn't leak at all when it rains around the windows or anything. The crank windows work great. It's got a sliding rear um, rear window. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the passenger side speaker is blown. Um, you can fade it over to that side, and it still makes noise, but it's very quiet. So I'm pretty sure it's not in good shape. Uh, but the driver side speaker works fine, and the original stereo works fine. All the gauges are great, alternator's good, uh, fuel gauge works great, tax, speedo, uh, temp gauge, oil, um, all that's awesome. The uh, uh, clutch bypass, clutch start bypass button works just fine. Uh, E-brake works great. Man, I'm trying to think what else. So I'm doing like 50 right now. Um, nice and quiet inside. It's nice with air conditioning. <laughs> and heater works great. All the lights are up just fine. The only the only thing I've found um, that I haven't tried to fix yet, but the only thing that doesn't work is the uh, the windshield wiper um, sprayer. It doesn't work. The reservoir is there and it is full, um, but it, the, the wipers work fine. But the sprayer does not. So I don't know if the pump is bad. Uh, could be the switch. That's something that I may troubleshoot here shortly, but I have not. I haven't looked at it yet, so I couldn't, couldn't tell you. Um, and I've got a lot of maintenance history on this truck uh, back for 10, 15 years, something like that. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's pretty unbelievable condition for an 87. I was literally, jeez, got some point there. I would literally drive it anywhere, the thing has just been awesome. Um, and I've been driving it every day uh, since I bought it. Down to Denver a couple times, so 100 and 20 mile round trip roughly. Um, up to Laramie once, it's 50 miles or so. Um, yeah. So it's, it's really not bad. Let me, uh, I'll turn around here and go back uh, where I can show you the four wheel drive. It's more shifted a little more, so there's something more interesting to see. Um, transmission is great. I will say, first gear um, is a little, I don't know how to put it. it, it engages perfectly fine. I don't think it's a sinker or anything, but sometimes, let's see if I can illustrate, it doesn't always do it. If you're rolling especially, everything's great. No problems at all. But, say you're at a, a stoplight or a stop sign in neutral and you're just sitting here idling and you're ready to go. It can be, I don't know if you heard that, that kind of click. It can be a little notchy going into first gear and it only seems to affect first gear. I've had other transmissions with, um, I don't know if I can get around here, maybe. Had other transmissions with a bad synchro and usually you can, you know, bypass that or you can tell for sure by shifting it into second or third before you go into first. 
and it'll be just fine. That kind of tells you you have a sinker problem with first, but that doesn't seem to make a difference here. Um, so I, I feel like this is a really minor issue. I just want to point it out. It's probably my only uh, annoyance as far as like driving with this truck daily goes. So you can see right there, it's a little notchy going into first from a stop. Um, I've had other of these trucks. A lot of times this is caused by the little uh, kind of plastic um, cup that the, the shifter sits in. Um, those can kind of fall apart or get really worn and they'll cause really weird engagement with the shifter. Um, I've taken this apart and checked it and it's got um, an upgraded, uh, probably Delrin or something, but it's got an upgraded bushing there that the shifter rides in. And uh, so that's not the issue there. It's not, um, it's not the seat of the shifter that is causing the kind of tough engagement sometimes at first. So beyond that, I'm not sure, you know, I, I'm assuming the original transmission to the truck. I don't know that for sure, but with 152,000 miles on it, I suppose it could just be well worn. But uh, I just wanted to point it out. I don't feel like it's a major issue or anything, but I like to point out any issues I can look out with. Uh, and it's not anything I'm going to fix or look at any further. to film videos around here and show off cool cars but um, not so much anymore because they're building all over this place. I have a car pulling the dirt right here. Well let's talk let's talk about photo drive first and then I'll take a video of the dirt right there. Driver's side uh, seatbelt retractor is a little loose too, which is not surprising given its age. Okay, I'm gonna lock the hubs. They're manual locking hubs. Let me get this set. Having had this in the summer, I haven't used four-wheel drive much. Um, maybe. Okay, we're in too high. Is that the way? Shift into four high. Two. All right, there's four high. Probably not ideal to be doing this on concrete, but. Feel it 
well in the wheel that it's fully engaged. Okay, so we're down here in four high. So there's transfer case neutral, as you can tell by me having it in gear and nothing's happening. Okay, so straight up into four low, clicks right in, into first. Alright, so no clutch at all, just crawling and idle, that's uh, four low. Works great, shifts great, transfer case works perfectly. Probably not great on pavement. So back into neutral, back into four high. Then we go back over. Alright, and back into uh, two high. But I still have the hubs locked, but that's okay. So, shows you a little bit. Works great. Um, yeah, and I've had it in the dirt around here as um, I work over here. And there's some little dirt trails back there. So I've had it in the dirt there, testing the four-wheel drive. Everything works great. Um, I haven't done any real four-wheeling with this. I didn't buy this for an off-road truck or anything. This one was way too nice to... Um, beat up off road and you see too many of them anyways that are all trashed from people using his off road rigs which I think is awesome don't get me wrong but this one uh, is too nice to do that with and I've got a Jeep Wrangler anyways that I use so no trespass alright I guess we won't bother here we'll go back we'll go back to my spot in the dirt right there and I'll show you an outside video